Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we had a question on one of our videos here and they were asking if, is there a simple replace of the image? For example, I have an image with a URL. When I hover over it with a mouse, I want a different image to appear. Yeah, that's really easy to do and I'll show you how. So let's open with Elementor. This guy says he's got Elementor Pro. I'm using the free version here. It'll work just as easily with both. Okay, let's add a new section. I'm just going to hit the little plus button, add a new section. And I'm going to simply drag an image module in here. And I guess we can do it with a full size image today. You can make it one, two or three column, however you like to. In fact, for visibility, let's make it two columns. That'll make it a bit easier. So I'll add a new column. OK, let's add our image. And this will work best if you have two images of the same size or same proportions. I think all my car pictures are the same size. So let's put that one in. And we'll give it a link. Obviously, you put your link in here custom URL. I haven't got a real link so I'll put a hashtag in there. Obviously this chap's got a link in there. If you're linking outside of your website to a different website, open it in a new window so yours stays open. It's always good practice. Okay and the way this is going to work today, we've got one image here which is on a widget and we've got a column behind and we're going to put the other column behind and make this one disappear and the other one show through and we'll still be able to click on the link because this will still be here we're just going to make it transparent so let's go into our column a little dark tab right here to get in the column we'll go to style we'll go to background background type here little paintbrush and there's opportunity to put an image in there here and let's put in I guess that one like I say, I think they're the same dimensions. Great. Now we've got a little bit of space between our column and our widget right here. We want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go to advanced. In padding here, I'm going to just put a zero in the first column there. And as long as we got that little link checked here, it does all four at once. We've now got no gap at the top there. So you can't see that image underneath. OK, so we've got our padding in there. We want to make sure that our image, our background image displays as we want it to cover the whole area. So it's the same size as our top image there. So we're going to say size cover. Now then, let's go back to our little widget module. And if we go from our content to our style, We'll go down, you'll see a CSS filter and just above that is opacity, which is transparency or see-throughness. Just above that is normal and hover. Normal, we want it up to 100%. Great. When we hover over it, we want it to be zero. There we go. So we can see our image through the background there. And it, you notice my cursor is still a little hand icon there so we can still click on it the URL is still going to work for us and just below that is transition duration so we can pull that up and just slow it down a little bit oh, 0.3 is good or if you want to sort of very gradual change pull it up as high as you want you can actually put a your own duration in there and almost get a morph going. Like I say, you still got that hand icon so our link's still active even though we can't see it, it's still there, it's just transparent. I'm going to take mine down about half a second I think. Okay, well let's update and see what we've got. Let's go on down, there's our little image. And when we hover over it, there it is. And it's totally clickable still. 
So I hope that answered your question. That's very easy to do. There's no coding involved. And like I say, it works with the free version as well as the pro version. So I hope that's answered your question today and that you found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.